Hello Libra, welcome back to your monthly zodiac readings. This is Risa here. I trust you guys had a wonderful month and are gearing up for March. Now March brings flowers and it also brings the spring. It's also the month of the Empress. So it's a month to bring in the abundance into your life. The things that you're trying to manifest or would love to manifest. It's a month when you can become pregnant. It's a month when you can become... I don't know, very abundant with ideas of new things, new jobs, new directions, new homes, being able to manifest things and bring them into your life easier than other months. Okay, so with this month, I'd like to offer a reading that's got a reduced price. I'm going to offer a reading, three questions, 30 minutes, a recorded reading for $25. The only stipulation is that all three questions have to be about the same subject. Okay, they can't be different subjects because I just want to focus on one energy and make it really, really strong and potent for you. So, all right, if you're interested in a reading with me, then choose this month. It'll last only throughout the month of March. So, you can contact me via my email, risesheelingarts11 at gmail.com. I'll be looking forward to reading for you. Okay, the main energy that will affect you this month is the moon. So psychic energy, dreams that are important, messages that come to you in dreams. Also hidden fears, hidden illusions that do come out to the light. So this month it's all about your intuition and it's all about digging deep within yourself and pulling out all these situations that may need to come out to the light so you can work through them and release them Release them because you don't want them bothering you throughout your life. We're growing, we're healing, we're, we're learning about ourselves. And it's very difficult sometimes, some of the things that are going to surface during the month of March. But remember, it's a month of abundance and a month of healing. So you can bring them to the surface and move on from them. This is a card of moving away, moving on, moving on beyond all of the stress and all the situations that could be happening in your life at this time. Libra, you're bringing more balance into your life, which is good. This is all about moving away from an emotional situation that could have been holding you back, that could have been bothering you or pulling you down. This is moving away, moving towards something more emotionally fulfilling in your life, which is a great thing. You've learned a lot of lessons, now you're moving away. Perhaps some secrets have come out or some situations that you... We're not aware of, and I'm not talking about someone cheating on you. I'm talking about secrets within yourself. Things that you didn't even know about yourself that are suddenly coming out to light. You need to take the lead in that as well. This is the Ace of Wands, or actually the Three of Wands. So you're going to be teaming up with others. You're taking the lead and moving your life forward. Whether you're moving your family forward or you're moving a situation forward with two other people. Something that you have been waiting for is going to manifest in your life. So you take the lead and run with it because now it's the month to manifest. You need to rebuild. There are certain things that are going to come down in your life so that you can rebuild on more solid foundations with your mind clear, seeing things for what they are and not what you think they were or what they could have been in a clouded situation now you're seeing things clearly you're moving away from situations that have hurt you or that have put you down and you have rebuilt because something in your life ended so that you can begin a new fresh something better in essence if you believe you will succeed so you're moving forward very triumphantly getting away from things that have kept you down for a long time not anymore you need to love yourself first. Self-respect is number one in learning to love yourself and allowing others to love you as well. Your respect, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive to your partners or to those that could potentially be a partner if you are single. So if there's somebody that's coming around you and uh, they think they can disrespectful be disrespectful towards you or think that you would be an easy catch or that you would chase them down. Forget it, Libra. You're not going to be you're going to respect yourself first and let them come to you if that is what they wish. Surrender your low self-esteem. See, it's all about low self-esteem or thinking that others can hold you down or you believe in the stories that you have heard. Not true. You're starting to see the light now. You deserve success, love, and abundance. 
set an intention to identify and release any remnants that you may have of low self-esteem. So it's something, this is what you're working through this month. And these are probably the secrets that are coming out to light so that you can see them. How you have allowed others to talk you down and how you have perhaps believed some things that others have said. Your self-esteem is going to go to a higher level as you move through these healings and wounds that you are going to be surfacing so that you can get them out of the way. And you're moving away from people that do not respect you or do not see you at your full potential, which is something that you want because you're going to become very successful as you move through this month. The Empress also rep is represented by the sign of Venus. And Venus is the planet that is behind your sign as well. So it brings in wealth, abundance, love. So you're going to have an abundance of that this month if you follow through with the guidance. Respect yourself first. Do not allow others to cross over boundaries. There's a big opportunity that's going to come into your life during this month where abundance is going to flow in the form of finances. So maybe a new career, a new job, a new branch, a new avenue, somebody offering you something, something that you overhear. So pay attention to others as well. Okay, there's going to be a new door that opens to spirit. So perhaps your intuition is going to be heightened as well during this month. So pay attention to your gut feeling. Pay attention to your dreams as well because the card of the moon also represents dreams. You may be having messages that come to you from your guides through your dreams. So pay attention because you might miss something that they're asking you to do or some direction they're asking you to take because you're not paying attention or cannot remember. Sometimes waking up in the middle of the night will help you remember a snippet of a dream that you need to write down. So try to focus on that. You also need to be very clear in your communications this month. Say what you mean and not try to sugarcoat it or dumb it down for someone else sparing their feelings. Think about yourself first. Respect yourself. Remember, no low self-esteem because all that's going to do is going to lower your self-esteem. You don't want that. You want to raise it. And you want to say what you mean to those that are around you, your romantic partners, if you're having a situation with them, people at work, uh, family members, whatever it is. Don't beat around the bush. Say it as it is. They're the ones that need to learn to deal with it, okay? And at least you're getting it off your chest and you're saying how you truly feel to other people. And one more card. Practice compassion. Practice compassion first with yourself. Be compassionate with yourself and true to yourself during this month. And then practice compassion with others. See things from a different perspective is going to be very important this month. As you flow through, raise your self-esteem, tell others how you feel, and attract that abundance that's coming to you. It's due to you this month. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Talk to you again next month. Bye for now.